Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today is the core and leg class. So we're gonna start in a child pose. So come down your mat, knees apart, big toes to touch, setting the hip down onto the heels, walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders relax, forehead down. Try to sit back as much as you can on your heels. If you have a very tight ankle and hip, you're not able to sink down. Rest your forehead on that hand, that fist, or on the block. Staying here for a few breath. While we open up the hip joint, stretching our ankle joint, massaging internal organs, lengthening the spine, Massaging the third eye. One more breath. We're going to lift the forehead up, walking the hands over to the right side as far as you can go, and release the forehead back down on the mat. Feel the length in the left side of your body. One more breath, and we're going to lift the forehead up, walking the hands over to the left side as far as you can go, and release the forehead back down. Taking a few breaths here, as you feel the stretch on the right side of your body. One more breath, and we'll walk the hands back to the center of the mat, coming up on a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers, align the wrist with the shoulder, knees and hips are aligned, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine, getting ready for cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into your cow. Exhale, run your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do this a few times at your own pace and your own breath. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Two more times. And one last one. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral spine, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. Coming into a big figure eight, sink the hip down onto the heel, swaying it out, exaggerate your movement. When you're at the top of the mat, Go to the opposite corner. Feel your spine moving. When you're in the center position, we're going to go the other way. Reverse your big figure eight. Swing the hip out. When you're at the top of the mat, go to opposite corner. And slowly, slowly wind your way back to neutral position, swaying side to side. Release tension in your wrist. When you come to unbalance, right arm and left leg up, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, core strong, looking down. Lengthening, staying here for three, two, one. If you need to release, release. Otherwise, we turn and grab hold of the back foot. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Lifting the foot up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. 
One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg out. Left thumb to the sky. Back toes down. Reach and stretch. Staying here for three. Two. One. If you need to release, release. Otherwise, return and grab a hold of the back foot. Lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. We're going to come to fret the needle, so we're going to inhale the right arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm extend in front of you, as well as the left leg. On your toes, putting more body weight on the right shoulder. Very little weight in the head or neck. Both hips are level. Just be mindful for those who have shoulder issues. You can slowly come out of it. One more breath, and we're gonna use the left hand to push ourselves up. And we're gonna come sit down, extend this leg, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, your arms up lengthen. Exhale, we're gonna to turn to the straight leg. Hinge forward. Leading with the chest, coming into a forward bend. <coughs> Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, lower the stomach a little bit closer. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly walk over to the other side, getting ready for the gate pose. Spread all your fingers, align the wrist with the shoulder, grounding the straight leg. Use your core and your strong leg to lift your hips off the ground. Just be mindful. If anyone who has knee, wrist, elbow, shoulder issues. To turn it into balancing, you can lift up the top leg, either point or flex, that will engage the top leg. Use your core abdominal muscles to hold yourself up. And then when you have enough of it, we're gonna slowly, slowly come back down and return to the neutral tabletop position. And we're gonna repeat everything on the other side. Front the needle first. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm extend in front of you, as well as the right leg. So same arm, same leg. Coming up on your toes. Putting more body weight on the left shoulder. Grab a little weight in the head and neck. Both hips are level. One more breath. And we're going to slowly, slowly using the right hand to push yourself up. And we're going to come sit down. Extend the back leg, point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up, we lengthen. Exhale, we turn to the straight leg. Hinging forward, leading with the chest, holding onto any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Using your inhale breath to lengthen. Exhale, bring the stomach a little bit closer. Neck is long, spine is straight. One more breath. And we're going to slowly walk over to the other side. Getting ready for the gate pose. Spread all your fingers, align the wrist with the shoulder. Extend the top leg. 
Use your core abdominal muscles to lift the hip off the ground. Top arm up. If you want to make it into a balanced pose, lift up the top leg. Either point of flex. That will engage the top leg. Use your core abdominal muscles to hold yourself up. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly, coming back down, neutral tabletop. Getting ready to come up, so meet you in down dog. Spread all your finger, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog, pushing the mat away, lengthening the spine, stretching our hamstrings. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees. Upside down, let it be. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more time. Inhale up on toes, stretching on the toes. Exhale down. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale to down dog. And we're going to do this a few more times at your own pace and your own breath. When you're in the plank position, Last day came the butter, not sagging. Strong arm, strong core. Two more times. And one last one. Coming back to down dog. We're going to go into a three leg -like split. Left foot down, right leg up. Three leg to split, going into pigeon. Bending into the back leg. Look out underneath the right armpit for a twist. And we're going to swing the back leg all the way to the top of the mat. Right knee to right wrist. Flexing the foot will protect your knee. Make sure you're not lopsided. So we will come back to center, back of the leg in the center of the mat, bottom of your foot towards the sky. Make sure the ankle doesn't fall one way or the other. And slowly transition, forehead on stack hand, stack fist, or on a block. The stretch is here, right here flexor. Feel free to walk forward, back with side to side to open up the right hip more. The modification to pigeon is figure four. If you find that this version of pigeon challenging, please lie down on your back, going into a figure four. One more breath, and we're gonna release, bending the left arm parallel to the top of the mat, make a fist. Inhale, right arm up. So we're going to open up the body, wrap the top arm around your waist. Now we're going to reach for the same foot, actually. Keeping the top shoulder up and open, looking up. If you're not able to reach for the foot, just wrap the top arm around your waist. One more breath. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release, bending into the right arm, parallel to the top of the mat. Make a fist. Inhale the left arm up. Open up the body. Bring the top arm around your waist. Now this side, there's no foot for you to reach. So reach for the opposite thigh. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Now meet you in down dog. We're gonna repeat everything on the other side. So tuck the back toes and step the right leg back. Feel free to walk the dog out. 
Release the head down. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize impact on the wrist. Pigeon on the other side. So right foot down, left leg up. Three leg this split. Bending into the back leg. Look out in the left armpit for a twist. Swing the back leg all the way to the top of the mat. Left knee to left wrist. Flexing the foot to protect the knee. Slide the back leg out. Back leg is straight and it's in the center. Bottom of your foot towards the sky. Way to side to side. Lower the forehead down, stack hands, stack fist, or on your block. So different height. Make sure you're not coming lopsided. If you're lopsided, pop yourself back up. Feel free to come up on the back toes, rocking forward, backwards, side to side to open up the left hip more. So opening up the left hip, also helping people to relieve sciatica condition. Modification of pigeon is figure four. So feel free to come lie down on your back if you find that this version of pigeon challenging. One more breath. We're gonna bend into the right arm. Parallel to the top of the mat, make a fist. Inhale the left arm up. Wrap around your waist. So on this side, there's foot for you to reach. So left hand, right, reach for the left foot. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. Looking up. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Bending the left arm parallel to the top of the mat. Make a fist. Inhale the right arm up. Wrap around your waist. Now on this side, there's no foot for you to reach. So reach for the opposite thigh. Keeping the top shoulder. Up and open. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. To come out of it, we're gonna go into a dang dog. So tuck the back toes and step the left leg back. We're in down dog again. Big, big stretch. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Coming into a warrior one on the right side. Right foot forward towards the right hand. Left foot at 45. Square the hip to the front. Arms up. Holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly curved in. Engage your arms, shoulders relax down from the ears, eyes looking up. One more breath. We're going to release the hands, roll the shoulder back, interlace the finger, knuckles down and away from you. Left the chin up and half back. Slide back bend if you can. One more breath. Release the hands. We're going to transition into a half moon, which is balancing. So we're going to ground into the front leg. So if you like to set up, you can step the back leg to join the front leg first. And then grounding into the front leg, right hand by the right foot. I'm using my block to extend my arms. Slowly lift the back leg up. Open up the body. So beginner, you can stay here. Engage the back leg, either point or flex. When you're ready, top arm up. Strengthening the standing leg and ankle. Engage your core, looking up. 
When you have enough of this, slowly, slowly bring the back leg down. And we're going to come to ego pose, so you can start the back leg to join the front leg. So we're on the right side, so grounding in to the right leg. You can set up the leg first, so we can bring the other foot around, toe down, floating or wrapped around the standing leg. Inhale the left, right, the arms up, right, and the left. Big, big hug. You can stay here. If you can go into the ego arm, lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb. You end up with the thumb facing your nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the body. Ego pose. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. And we're gonna come back to our warrior stand. So widen your stand, we're gonna go into warrior two. Bring your hands to heart center. As soon as you open up, arms are parallel to the floor. Palm facing down. Strong arms. Front knees 90 degree on top of the ankle. Between second and third toe. Back foot is facing 45 degree. Heel to heel or heel to arch. Extend the side angle. Right elbow resting on right side. Left arm up. Open up the hands, looking at the top thumb. Not putting a whole lot of weight on the front thigh. Slowly we mirror top arm over to form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back heel. Top palm facing down, lengthening the left side of your body, looking up. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open. Those who wish to bind hands, lift the right hand underneath the knee, not the crotch. After you bind hand, they rotate the top shoulder up to the sky. So I'm going to place the block by my front foot to lengthen my arm. So don't jeopardize the pose by rounding the body while you're binding the hands. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. And we're going to slowly release. Coming into reverse warrior. Flipping the right arm up. Top arm is a crescent moon. Bottom hand on the thighs. Lengthening the right side of your body. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Triangle. Shorten your stand. Swing the hip up. Arms so in T. Shift to the front of the room. When you can't go anymore. Windmill the arms. Right arm at six o'clock. Left arm at 12 o'clock. Shoulders stack on top of each other. Bow palm facing out. Looking at the top thumb. Slightly bend from knee if needed. If you have tight hamstring. Feel the length in the left side of your body. Slowly, slowly, coming back up. Rewalking triangle. Left hand by the big toe side or baby toe side of the front foot. Once again, I'm using my block to help me. Rotate the body to the right. Right arm up, looking up. So all twisting position, help you to that massage internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Take your time to come up. And we're going to pivot the feet to face the front. Use the length of your mat. Toes are pronated out. Coming into the goddess. Palm facing forward. Hands by your chest. Inhale up, exhale down. 
slightly tuck the tailbone in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Let's do two more times. And one. Staying here for a moment. Couple more breath. And we're gonna slowly, slowly rise up. Release the arms down. Pivot the feet to face the other side. Coming into our warrior stand. When you're ready, arms up. Warrior one. Palms facing each other. Pinky slightly curving. Shoulders relaxed down from the ears. Eyes looking up. One more breath. And we're going to release the arms. Roll the shoulder back. Interlace the finger behind, knuckles down and away from you, lifting the chin up and head back, feel the pain in shoulder blades, opening up the lung heart chest, stimulating thyroid gland by lifting the chin up and head back. One more breath, release the arm. We're going to set up for half moon, so we're going to start the back leg to join the front leg. Shake it out if necessary. I have my block handy. Grounding into the front leg. Left hand around the front foot. So find a spot where you can balance yourself. Hands on waist first. Lift up the back leg. So beginning, you can stay here. We can open up the body, top arm up when you're ready. Working the standing leg and ankle, either point of flex that would engage the top leg, shoulders stack on top of each other. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly bring the back leg down and we will step the back leg to join the front leg, setting up for eagle, grinding into the left leg, bring the other leg around, toe down, floating or wrap around the standing leg, set up good bottom foundation, inhale the arms up, left and the right. Big, big hug. Love yourself. Now you can stay here. If you can lock the elbows, grab hold of the thumb. Go ahead, you end up with the thumb facing your nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the bottom. Forming an L shape. Squeezing everything into the center line. One more breath. We're gonna release. Coming back to our warrior stand. Widen your stand, bring your hands to heart center. As soon as you open up, arms are parallel to the floor, palms facing down. Evenly distribute your weight between the two legs. Extended side. Left elbow resting on left thigh, right arm up, bridge and stretch. Open up the top hand. Look at the top thumb. Not putting a whole lot of weight on the front thigh. Lift and stretch. Slowly windmill the top arm over to form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back hip. Top palm facing down. Lengthening the right side of the body. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open. If you like, you can place the front hand by the front foot. Those who are binding, slip the left hand underneath the knee, not the top. So you have to come further down. Keeping the top shoulder up and open, looking up. One more breath, slowly 
slowly curl back up. Coming into reverse warrior. So that bring the left arm up. Right hand down the right thigh. Top body suppressing it. Looking up. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. Triangle, shorten your stand, swing the hip up, tip to front of the room. When you can't go anymore, windmill the arms. Bottom hand at 12, six o'clock, top hand at 12 o'clock. Shoulders stand on top of each other, full palm facing out, looking up. One more breath, slowly, slowly, come up to release. Revolving triangle. Right hand by the big toe side of baby to side of the foot. I'm using my block to help me. Turn the body to your left side, left arm up, looking up. Once again, we're twisting the body to improve digestion and detoxification. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. Take your time to rise up, stopping the back leg to join the front leg. So come in to a mountain pose, or 10 toes facing the front leg side of wood. Arms by your side, palm facing forward, soft knees. If you like, close your eyes for a moment, slowing down the habit. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your knees. Make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, Sign it out, release. A couple more times. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, let go. Two more times. Inhale, your shoulders up. Lots of tension. Exhale. Let go. One last one. Inhale your shoulders up. Oh, sign it out. Then we're going to come sit down. Have a sip of water if needed. And we're going to go into seated poses. Bring the sole of your feet together. Wrap your hands around the ankle, sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up the hip joint. Draw the heel close to you. Grab a hold of the big toes. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the outside of the shin. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Not rounding the back or dropping the head. Every time you come down, get the stomach a little bit closer. Neck is long, spine is straight. One more breath, slowly, slowly, come back up to release. Sliding the feet a few inches in front of you, coming into a tortoise. So this is longer than it is wide. You can have feet together or slightly apart. Slide the hand underneath to grab a hold of the ankle. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, head to feet. Rounding the back in this one like a turtle. More intensive stretch of the lower back. And you may feel some discomfort in the hip joint, in the thighs, outer thighs. More intensive stretch of the lower back. 
One more breath. Slowly, slowly coming back up, sliding the hand back up from underneath. Windshield wiper. Bend both knees. This is hip width. Hands behind you, fingers facing the same way as your feet. And we're going to drop the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Hips can come off. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Now we're going to open up and drop both knees to the right side. Make sure the butt stay down. This is a 90, 90 degree. You should feel the stretch here. Put your sock hip joint. Don't lean back too much. Look at the opposite side. A little bit of discomfort here, so you can adjust the angle. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly bring the body back to the center. We should wipe her a couple more times. Hip release, hip opener. And when you're ready, we're going to open up and drop both knees to the other side. Forming a 90, 90 degree. Make sure the butt stay down. Look at the opposite side. Don't lean back too much. You're going to feel the stretch here. Pull your side hip joint. Stretching out the neck as well. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. Straighten out the legs, arms it a few times. Get the flesh apart out from your butt. Bending the left knee. Same hand, grab a hold, same ankle. The other hand, grab a hold, break toes. Inhale to lift the straight leg up. Exhale to open. Don't round the back or drop the head. Stomach and chest proud. One more breath. Slowly bring the straight leg back to the center. Lifting it a little even higher up. Bring the other foot off the ground. Balancing on your sitting bones. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Switching side. Bring the bend, leg close your body, grab a hold of the ankle. The other hand, grab a hold of the big toes. Lifting the leg up. And then we're going to open up. Engage both arms and legs. That will stabilize yourself. Stomach and chest proud. One more breath, slowly bring the straight leg back to the center, lifting it a little bit higher up, bring the other foot off the ground. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. And we're gonna get ready to lift both legs up into a big V. Set yourself up, get the flesh apart out from your butt, grab a hold of the big toes, so we are in our V sit, balancing on your sitting bones. When you're ready, open up the legs. So engage both arms and legs. Stomach and chest proud. Staying here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the legs together and release. We're going to go into the boat pose. So set yourself up, get the flesh apart out from your butt, hands underneath the kneecap, come up on your tippy toes when you're ready, lift the feet off the ground. First round can be supported, staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One and release, come down, catch your breath. Another round when you're ready. Bend both knees, come up on the tippy toes. Lift your feet off the ground. You can continue to hold on this way or this way, or you can let go. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one release, very good. Catch your breath. One last one to go. Bend your knees. Come up on your tippy toes. Lift the feet off the ground. You can continue you to hold on this way, this way. Let go. Or we can roll the boat for ten. Toss or turn. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Very good. Slowly release. Bounce it out. We're going to get ready to come lie down. So take water if you need. We're going to rock and roll to a reclining position. So come to the end of your mat, bend your knees, hands underneath the kneecap, and we're gonna rock forward, backwards. Massaging the entire spine and turn your back. Make sure you don't hit your head on the way back. Couple more times. And when you're ready, slowly ease yourself to come lie down on the mat. I'm down by your side, palm facing down. Relax the spine down, keeping the natural curve in your lower back so the first joint of your finger can pass through. All lying down poses, we're slightly tucking the chin to chest to protect your neck. Staying here for a couple more breaths. Let your body get used to lying on its back. And we're going to set ourselves up for the bridge pose. So feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. Knees are two fists apart. Be equivalent to the width of a block. Walk the hands close to my, your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, lift the hips high, high up, forming a bridge. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Your core to set and your glutes are firm. So in another words, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butts are firm. Now we're gonna inhale up. Exhale, lower everything down. So we're going to do this a few times. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles to keep your spine healthy and strong. Now we're going to add the arms, so we're going to inhale to lift the hips up, arms up above the head, fingernails on the floor, exhale to lower everything down on the mat again. So continue at your own pace and your own breath, inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. When you come up, all the way is in the shoulder. Very little weights in the head or neck. Now this time we're going to come up on the tippy toes as well. So inhale, arms up, 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 up on your tippy toes. Exhale to lower everything down. So continue. Inhale, up on toes, arms up above the head. Exhale to lower everything down. Three more times. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. 
Inhale, so, so bridge pose is a good one to do if you have back pain as we strengthen both the front and the back muscles to support the spine. One last one. Slowly release everything down. I'm down by your side. Catch your breath here. We're gonna lift the legs up to the sky. Place your block between your feet. Flex the feet, hands, behind the kneecap. Once again, slightly tuck the chin in. We're not saying the chin is touching the chest. And this will keep your neck and your spine in one straight line. Staying here for a moment, stretching our hamstrings. Let the blood go back to your heart. So helping you with circulation, increase immunity, improve sleep quality, as well as digestion. Lifting the hand chest up. So we're gonna reach for the toes. Exhale to lower down. So keep going, inhale, lift up. Exhale down. Make sure you're not using your neck muscle to come up. Use your core abdominal muscles. If you cannot reach for the toes, no problem. Just Lift the hand chest up. So inhale, lift up, reach for the toes. Exhale down. Couple more times. Inhale to reach up. Exhale down. Inhale to reach up. Now we're gonna stay here. Grab a hold of the big toes if you can. If you cannot hold on to the toes, hold on to any part of the legs. No tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. One more breath, release the hands down. I'm down by your side. We're gonna do a few rounds of leg lift with the block between your feet. Take a breath here, first round. Lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, don't drop it. Bend both knees, lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here, last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, Two, when your legs are one feet off the ground, don't drop it. Lifting the hand chest up. So we're coming on our forearm. So we're gonna bend the knees. Keep your block in place. Extend. Do a few more rounds of this. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Neck, upper body are relaxed. Now we're gonna to go to the side. So it doesn't matter which side. Inhale, center. Exhale, the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, extend your legs to the other side. Continue. Two more times. One last one. Slowly come back to center. Release the upper body down. Remove your block. Waste your wiper a few times. Release any tension that you may have. Coming back here, keep your knees bent. Walk the heel, close your fingertips. Once again, we're gonna lift the hip up, coming into 
our bridge pose. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers. We're going to grounding into the left foot, lifting the right leg up. Small circles. So try your best. Now, if you find it's easier to release the hands, place the arm by your side, palm facing down. Just small circle. And reverse. Hip drop for five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly release the right leg down. Adjust your bridge. Press firmly on the mat. You're going to lift the hip up. Left leg up. Small circle. Reverse. Hip drop for five. Three, two, one. Slowly release the left leg. Windshield wiper a few times. Release any tension that you may have. Bring the sole of your feet together. Let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. Like gravity versus drop to open up hip joints. Relax the spine down, keeping the natural curve in the lower back. Arm by your side, palm facing down. Go like gravity versus drop to open up the hip joints. And we're going to go like a butterfly, open shut, opening up the hip joints. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Two more. One last one. Lift the knee up. So mid range. Open shut again. Let's do another three. Two. One, lifting the legs up to the sky. Open, shut. One time in front, one time behind. Now you don't have to go very big and you do not have to go fast. Control your movement. Opening up hip joint, stretching in the thighs as well. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly bring the legs together. Take a breath here. And we're going to slowly release the leg back. But we're not going to go all the way down. We're just going to leave it one feet off the ground. When you're ready, lift the head chest up. We're coming on the forearm and we're going to go swimming for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to lower everything down, taking a couple of breaths. After you have recharged, we're going to come up on the forearm again, lift the legs up, one feet off the ground. And we're going to go open shut for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower everything down first. We set. Taking a couple of breaths. When you're ready, lifting the head, chest up. This is the last round, I promise. Lift the feet up, one feet off the ground. Pulsing it up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, very good. Slowly release everything down. Take a couple of breaths here. We're gonna go into spinal twist, bending the right knee, right foot on left thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh, slowly bringing the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm out shoulder height, palm facing down. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles to support the spine, especially if you have back pain. Shoulders and shoulder blades are still on the mat. Turn and look at the right side if your neck is good. One more breath and we're gonna slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. And we'll go spinal twist on the other side, opposite hand up to thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as closer for as possible. Left arm out shoulder height. If you have room, feel free to extend the top leg. Grab a hold of the opposite ankle. If your neck is good, turn a look at the left side, stretching out the neck as well. Creating spaces between your vertebrae, L4 and L5. Continue to stretch the lower back muscles to support the spine, especially if you have back pain. One more breath and we're gonna slowly bring everything back to the center. And we're gonna keep the knees bent, grab hold of your ankle if you can, and we're gonna go with your wiper this time. So let it fall wherever it fall. Release any tension that you may have. Slowly come back to center. Grab your hands around the knee. Coming into knee to chest. Rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like. Covering a bigger area. Massaging lower back and sacrum. Go the other way. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Lifting the head chest up, head to knee. If you can grab a hold of feet, go ahead. Make yourself into a ball. Continue to massage internal organs. Slowly release the head down. Lift your feet up to the sky, come into happy baby. Keep your knees bent, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, the entire back, opening up hip joints. So happy baby is also a good one to do to relieve back pain. Slowly come back to center, bring the soles of your feet together, wrap your hands around the feet. Draw the feet close to your body. Reclining cobbler pose. A little bit of discomfort in the hip area, in the thighs of the thighs. If you like, you can lift the head chest up, head to feet. One more breath, slowly release the upper body down. And we're gonna have the feet on the ground. Raise your wiper a few more times. Release any tension that you may have. And we're gonna drop both knee to the right side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Raise the right arm, roll over to the right side. Coming into a fetus position. When you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. Stretching out the neck, gear to the shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide and support the head. Lengthening, stretch. Release tension in your neck. And we're gonna go to the other side. Gear to the shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Stretch. 
Slowly, slowly come back to center. I'm gonna inhale the arms open, chin up, half up. Exhale to close, chin to chest. And repeat, inhale the open up the body, helping you to improve your posture. Exhale to close, chin to chest. So both ways we're stimulating thyroid gland as well by lifting chin up and half back. One last one. Opening up long heart chest. Exhale to close. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for watching, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.